do you see this juice? Do you see the juice? Best wash day ever. We're getting into it. Let's go. Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie. Special welcome to ya. So I'm really excited for today's video because I'm sharing with you a wash and go technique that has been game changer for me. You've probably heard me mention mixing gels just briefly in a couple of my other videos, but it has been so successful for my wash and goes that I figured I wanted to come on here and do a much more in-depth video all about mixing gels. I'm gonna show you what it does for me. We got a little bit of juice, okay? And I'm gonna tell you why and how to make sure you're mixing gels in order to make sure it's not just gonna be like a hot mess, all right? We're gonna be flourishing here today, sis. I know it's like, ooh, mixing gels, big deal, but it was a big deal for me, okay? It's a big deal for my curls, and so if any of you guys have been struggling, especially this summer out in the heat, like this is definitely something that you can experiment with to try and perfect that wash and go. So before we do get into all the fun stuff, please do go ahead and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. It really helps your girl out. And you're gonna wanna make sure you hit that notification bell as well so you will never miss a new upload ever again. All right, so let's head over to the bathroom so we can go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and jump straight in. I'm starting with freshly washed, soaking wet hair. I did leave a little bit of my deep conditioner in here just because I like to do that. I don't always like to wash it out fully. So I've left a little bit in here, which means I don't actually need to go in with a leave-in conditioner to keep any moisture in, because we've already got it in there. So apart from the two gels that I will be mixing, I'm also gonna be using this Frizz Free Curl Mousse by Shea Moisture. I've really actually just been loving mousse in my hair lately. I love that it keeps my curls wet, and it really helps to kind of prep my hair for the gel. And then the two gels that I am gonna be mixing today are first, the Wee Dad Heat and Humidity Control Gel, and then on top, I will be going in with the Camille Rose Curl maker. Genuinely, I love two of these gels so much just even on their own. So one day when I just decided to mix them, I was like, <gasps> honestly, mixing gels has really, really made a difference in my curls, especially during the summer heat. So I'm just going to start by sectioning out my hair and then the first styling product that I'm applying is going to be the mousse. All right, so then on top of that, we are going in with the Wee Dad Heat and Humidity Gel. So this gel in particular is a little bit more lightweight. I know they have a version with stronger holes, so the same exact gel, heat and humidity control, but I know it has a stronger hold for thick curly hair, so I will definitely be trying that out next. But yeah, this one that isn't the stronger hold one is definitely pretty lightweight. I really do love how it works in my curls, though. It just, it's one of those gels that works to give you curl definition, but then after a while, it kind of, like it doesn't leave you with a crunchy cast, but it still leaves you with just beautiful, defined, fluffy, loose kind of curls. I don't know how to explain it better than that. It's just, I don't know, I really love it. It actually reminds me of the Diva Curl Archangel Gel, which y'all know I used to be so obsessed with. But obviously since I stopped using their products a few months back because of all the stuff that was going on, I had just been trying other gels and honestly this one is the closest to it. It is so good. I really, really love this gel, especially for summer because it is heat and humidity control. I really am excited to get my hands on the Stronger Hold one to see if I can actually use it by itself. All right, so this is how we're looking with just the foam and the heat and humidity gel. It looks and feels so, so good. So then on top of it, I'm going in with just a little bit of Camille Rose. So when I'm mixing these two gels, I'm definitely using, in terms of like amount of products, I'm definitely using more of the Wee Dad and then kind of just using this sparingly and just like as a, like a little topper on top to just kind of seal in all of that goodness. The first time that I mix gels, especially, it was actually with these two gels, it was the first time I ever mixed gels in general. I was so shook and surprised at the results. I was just so like, it just honestly offered the best of both worlds for me, honestly. I got all the best things from the Wee Dad gel, but I also got all the best things from the Camille Rose gel, which is really like shine and a little bit more of a slight cast on top that can easily crunch out afterwards. And it also helped my curls to last definitely a lot longer. That's one of my favorite things about mixing gels. You can definitely go a full four days at least and not have to worry about your curls. All right, so this is how we're looking. You can see 
We got intense curl definition and intense moisture. It's a little bit white, but that's just because of the mousse. But the whiteness will definitely continue to go away and fade as we continue to dry. So that is basically it. That's how I apply it. Super simple and easy. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same exact steps for the rest of my hair. Because this is so super straightforward, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of speed through this part. I will be air drying and diffusing off camera, and then we will be back in the studio to discuss the final results. Boom! Here are the final results. I am living for this wash and go, okay? So as you can see, we've got volume, we've got curl definition, we've got shine, we've got everything I've literally ever wanted from wash and go, and it's lit. Like, I'm so, so happy. And honestly, I've been doing this technique of mixing these two gels in particular for a while now, and every single time, the results get me so hype and so happy. So that's why I really wanted to come on here and share this with you guys. I mean... So I also really wanted to quickly point out the fact of why I think these gels actually work so well together. So this one is the Wee Dad Heat and Humidity Gel. So as you can see, this gel is super watery. I'm just like letting it drain on the floor here, but you can see that it is super watery, very lightweight, not super sticky, so definitely not like a jelly type of gel. Oppositely, the Camille Rose Curl Maker is literally a completely different jelly. You can see how much thicker it is and it is very, very jelly-like. So I think the main reason why they actually work well together is because they are two very different gels. You definitely don't want to go in with two of the same type of gels because it's really not going to give you any kind of special kind of effect. It's just going to maybe just feel even heavier in your hair and possibly weigh your curls down. But when you're mixing gels like this that are just completely different, that's when you will really see the bomb results and actually get the best of both worlds from the two different types of gels. So the good thing is both of these gels are actually silicone free and I absolutely love that because I mean, I'll just let y'all see the entire video I did about silicones. I'll link it up here as well as in the description box below. But I really, really love that. So these are products that you can use all the time and feel really, really great about using. I have actually used both of these by themselves on separate occasions. I found with the Wee Dad, kind of like how I was saying, they have a stronger hold version that I'm very interested in. This version on its own, I had to use a lot to get a decent amount of hold. It still gave my curls definition, but it was kind of like a soft kind of hold. So by the end of day one, I had great volume, but then frizz started to kind of poke out as well. So the curl definition was there, but the level of hold wasn't really there with this on its own. This is kind of the opposite of that. Like I was saying, they're two very different types of gels. So this is like hardcore, okay? <laughs> when I use this by itself, it really gives me insane curl definition and insane shine, but then I feel like I lack a little bit of body at least for the first like day or two and then obviously on my day three four this is popping as I'm fluffing it out like it's great but I really wanted to find something where I could get like the perfect wash and go on day one we got volume we got curl definition and we got shine just by mixing these two together I swear like you literally get the best of both worlds do I feel like you need these in your life Absolutely, especially if you have hair like me. Now for reference, I personally don't usually like hair typing, but I know it seems to help some of you guys sometimes. So for reference, my hair type is 3C slash 4A. But honestly, I genuinely, like, I just absolutely love how it works for my curls. I, I'm just, I'm very impressed and I'm loving my hair. I'm feeling myself. So yeah, guys, I really hope that you found this video useful and you found it really fun. If you are going to go ahead and try this mixing gels thing, especially with these two gels in particular, please, please make sure you take a before picture, take an after picture, send it to me in the DMs or post it and tag me. I love to see your juicy curls. That's really the main reason why I do all of this. I do all the experimenting. I am your little guinea pig. I'll let you know what works for my curls. Hopefully it works for yours too because I really want to see your curls flourishing as well. At the end of the day, that's literally why I'm here. So don't forget to send me your pictures and also tag me in your results. Show me the juice. Show me the juice. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.